Hey IT Superstars, welcome back to the IT Superstar channel. My name is Alan and in this video we are going to configure RIP version 2. It's a um, dynamic routing protocol basically uh, using hop count as its metric and it has administrative distance of 120 and if none of this uh, makes sense to you then don't worry in the next couple of videos I will be covering all of these uh, terminology and underlying concepts and theory behind this in details. So stay tuned for uh, future videos. I will be covering basically entire CCNA, new CCNA curriculum, uh, automation, AWS, uh, Linux, and many more topics, Python as well. Yeah, so please subscribe to the channel, help share the knowledge. And in this, uh, in today's video, as I said, uh, we're going to configure RIP version 2, and this is the topology. As before, I have uh, zero configuration on any of the devices except for the PCs. I just added static IP addresses on both of the PCs to save some time. And what we need to do is uh, add IP addresses to the router interfaces and then uh, configure RIP version 2. So first I would like to add uh, IP addresses to all of the router interfaces and then we will proceed with the uh, RIP itself. So let's start with router zero and we'll go to command line interface and I'm gonna say no here for this uh, default wizard and I will say enable configure terminal or conf-t for short and we will go to interface fast internet zero slash um, zero first and I will give it an IP address of so IP address of 10.0.0.1 and uh, slash 8 subnet masks so that's 255.0.0.0 and then I'm going to go no shut which is very important because we want to keep the interface up and I'm going to exit and go to interface fast internet zero slash one, which is the interface facing uh, downward towards this PC. And this interface basically will be also the default gateway for the PC. So I will give it a IP address of 192.168.1.1 .1 and then 255.255.255.0 subnet mask which is a class c subnet mask of course no shot here as well exit and now when i go back to topology, to topology you will see that this is green this interface here but this one is red even though we also set the ip address this is because this one is uh, connecting to another router and we still have not configured the interface here so let's do that now let's go to this other router Again, I'm going to say no here for default wizard. And I'm going to say enable configure terminal. And I'm using abbreviated commands. You, you, you know, like instead of going int, you can use tab to complete. So you can go interface and then uh, start typing and use tab to complete. And say 0 slash 0. And we will give it IP address of 10.0.0.2 and uh, class A subnet mask. Okay. And no shut. Exit out of this and go to go to interf interface fast internet zero slash one. And we will give it an IP address of 11.0.0.1 and same subnet mask and no uh, shut. Let's just make sure that uh, so we're in router one and yeah, zero one correct interface. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, so we have this set. Let's go. Let's go now to router two and we will again say no to no and enable configure t to enter configuration mode and we will go to interface fast internet zero slash zero and we will give it ip address of uh, 11.0 oops 
11.0.0.2 with uh, slash 8 subnet mask. And we're going to say no shit. And let's just uh, let's just see if uh, if the interfaces have turned green here. So yeah, everything has turned green. So we have this one one more interface to configure here. So I'm going to say interface fast Ethernet zero slash one, which is the one facing down towards this PC, and. Uh, I will give it IP address uh, 192.168.2.1, which is also a default gateway for that PC. And I'm going to say 255.255.255.0, which is Class C subnet mask, no shut. And at this point, we should have all interfaces configured, basically. So... We should have all interfaces configured. Let me see, uh, just to test if I can ping from this PC. So if I can ping to 192.168.1.1, which is its default gateway. Yeah, ping works. Okay. Let me do the same on the other one. So if I ping 192.168, oops, 168.2.1. Okay, it works, great, okay. So now that we have everything working, we need to configure the routing protocol. And we said we will configure RIP version two, which is a handy little uh, protocol for uh, I would say smaller networks, not really. Uh, especially, I mean, we are using version 2. Version 1 is, uh, I would say, pretty much obsolete today as it's classful and doesn't support variable length subnet masks and many other things. So let's uh, proceed with the configuration. So we need to say uh, router rip, and then we need to specify the version. So version 2. And now, basically, how RIP works is you uh, give it a network that the router kn that the router knows about. So, for example, this router that we are configuring, it knows about two networks: uh, network 10.0.0.0 and 192.168.1.0, because these are directly connected to its interfaces. So it knows about these networks, and then um, this router will then advertise the information and the. the Two routers or three routers and all our routers will talk to each other basically and they will exchange the information and they will that's how they will know where to route packets. So we will say network and we will add first network which is 10.0.0.1. Sorry, dot zero. We're adding the network and we are not adding the subnet mask. So you, you only add a network here. And another network, as we said, is um, 192.168.1.0 exit. So these are the two networks that this router knows about. Now we go to router number one and exit out of this. And we will say again, router rip. And we will say version two, and we will say network. So 10.0 is the common network with router zero, and then a network 11.0.0, oops, which is the other one that it knows about. And I'm just gonna exit out of this. So we have this configured. Now let's go to router two, the last one, and we will exit out of this interface configuration. And we will say router rip version two and network so 11.0.0 and another one is network 192.168.1.0. 
sorry, dot two dot zero on this side. And exit out of this. And believe it or not, that's it. So now uh, we have basically, con we we've told these routers, you know, uh, we've told the RIP basically, these are the networks that uh, this router knows about. And then all of the routers will advertise their information and they will talk to each other. And that's how they will learn the routing. And as I said, uh, when uh, when it comes to the route selection, let's say if we had uh, let's say if we had additional two routers here, which we're not going to configure, but just to illustrate, if we had additional two routers here. So if router zero was to uh, send packet to router two, and if there was another path to go here to this router three and four, and then to router two, because it has uh, additional hop, extra hop here, it would choose this route here. So as I said, it's matrix is hop count. And I will talk about this more in another video, but just wanted to illustrate this here. And you know, this line, uh, even though it has maybe extra hop can actually be like much faster. So it would be in reality a better line, but uh, still uh, RIP will choose the other line, which has, uh, which has uh, less hops. So I don't want to, um, I don't want to make this video too long. I know I want to delete this and this. Let's now test and see if this PC here. So we can see it can ping the gateway. So let's see if it can ping the other PC on the other side. 192.168.2.10. Let's see if that works. And yeah, it works. So we have successfully configured RIP version 2. And yeah, we enabled packets to go from this PC all the way across the network to the other PC. Good. Thank you. This is it for uh, this video. Uh, as I said, uh, in the next few videos, I'll be talking about theory and explaining some of the terminology and the concepts, etc. And then we'll do more of configuration uh, videos. We will do OSPF, we will do EIGRP, we will do uh, loads of things. As I said, I will cover an entire CCNA curriculum and many other things. I will also, while doing the CCNA videos, I will also throw in some Linux videos in addition. So please, uh, as I said, uh, like, share, subscribe to help spread the knowledge. There will be many new videos to, to come on regular basis. I will, as I said before, I will try to do at least two videos per week, hopefully more sometimes. And I'm trying to keep videos short so you can, um, uh, you know, you can set aside, you know, 15 minutes a day and you can learn something new and then uh, do the same next day. And if you have more time, you can watch more videos and do some practice afterwards. But if not, you can just, you know, watch a video, do some practice and um, learn something new in a very short span of time. Thank you for viewing and uh, see you in the next video.